Okay, here in the state line, we saw a very calm and comfortable Sunday with temperatures that managed to just hang on into the 50s today, despite all the sunshine staying right around our average high at 57. We've cooled off about a degree or so since our highs were set just about a half hour or so ago. So we're sitting in the middle 50s, 56 in Rockford, 57 in Roscoe and Beloit, 55 degrees in both Sycamore and DeKalb at this hour, and temperatures will continue to gradually gradually a cool off over the next few hours. So we'll get into the 40s by 7 or 8 o'clock, but we're not going to get too far under 40. We'll dip into the upper 30s tonight, but it's all thanks to a southerly breeze that is starting to bring in some warmer temperatures. Could gust up to 15 miles per hour at times, so not too much of a breeze tonight, but we also will notice some increase in cloud cover. Definitely by the morning, we're going to be looking at some cloudier skies. So we'll have a mostly cloudy day tomorrow that likely does keep our temperatures just just below 70. We do keep on warming up with that southerly breeze gusting up to 30 miles per hour, so it'll be much more noticeable by tomorrow. But even by Tuesday and Wednesday, it keeps on strengthening gusts up to 30 miles per hour tomorrow, then 40 by Tuesday, 45 miles per hour by Wednesday. So this will actually create a very high fire danger from tomorrow through Wednesday when you combine it with the very dry conditions. So open burning is highly discouraged. Just don't do it really just to prevent any kind of larger wildfire fires from spreading because with these kinds of winds they will spread very quickly but it's also the warmer temperatures upper 60s tomorrow and then into the low 80s on Tuesday and that 82 if that stands that will break the record of 81 degrees the record high for Tuesday but otherwise we are a whole 26 degrees above average by Tuesday but we drop quickly by Thursday we're back to average as a cold front will be on its way back in bringing some much needed rain as well so here's future track on Wednesday showing maybe a few showers in the afternoon though best chances come well after dark kind of like what we saw last Thursday night as this cold front comes through showers even some rumbles of thunder rolling through but otherwise plenty of beneficial rainfall some of those showers could linger into Thursday morning but hopefully cross our fingers that the trick-or-treaters can stay dry as the rain looks to move out by Thursday evening but we do have to deal with the cooler temperatures though We'll have to see those trick-or-treaters bundling up, it looks like, as those temperatures fall to the 40s by trick-or-treating time. But in a most accurate 10-day forecast, those seasonable temperatures do hang around for the first weekend of November, which looks like our next period of wetter weather as we fall back one week from today, Sam.